And we're ready. Hey everybody, it's your boy Serge Dragon, and welcome back to another edition of the Heaven's Monsters Podcast. With me today is your boy, Xavier Hill. I'm back, guys. Sorry for not being here on the last Heaven's Monsters Podcast during Evolution. But I did see it when I was out of town in Indianapolis, so I didn't miss nothing. Yeah, yeah. So, once again, MVP is in the ring, so that can only mean one thing. Big things popping, little things stop. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the view, because the Heaven's Monsters podcast is for people better than you. Also, moving on to this side is Pharaoh and our boy, Mike Henry. And I want to say that our good friend, Terrence Man, we couldn't make it today, but I'm sure he watched T- Survivor Series. So, t if you're watching, we miss you, and we hope to see you at TLC. Yep. Shout out to our boy Terrence. We say he is the king of boobies. <laughs> hey, that was perfect. I didn't. Even, we didn't practice that or nothing. That was perfect. <laughs> boobies. <laughs> you want to mention anything on uh, NXT Takeover? Too many. Tommaso Ciampa is prevailed with the NXT Championship against Velveteen Dream, and then also rocking that Hollywood Hulk Hogan at Hollywood. And then you got Alistair Black game retribution. Game payback against his one, un- two, fade to black. Against the so called so called trainer Johnny Gargano, who was responsible of this Alistair Black attack because Nikki Cross keeps saying those words. She knows something. She knows something. She knows about Alistair's mysterious attack, and guess who it was? It was Johnny, Johnny. Gorgano. And, then and after, he, got, he, he was begging to be put down afterwards. And then after that... It was just a psycho. And after that, I hope you saw the look on his wife, Candace, because she mm-hmm. could not believe... She couldn't believe that Nikki Cross would ruin other people's lives. I mean, Candace Ray's just looking for answers because she's fighting for her husband. Mm-hmm. She's, she want to know why. Why would Nikki be a snitch? I mean, why would she accuse Johnny of attacking? She had info. That I was mean, the I mean, idea. I mean, that's Johnny's wife. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, I mean... She had the bird's eye view. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And then, but, last but not least, you got that gigantic, I mean... Oh, no, no, no. You forgot the women's. Oh, the women's match? Two out of three falls. Too much MMA... Too much cheating! Too much MMA drama. Shayna's, Shayna Baszler's two friends, once again, get involved. Okay. So, yeah, my phone's acting up right now, so... Sorry for that. With the storage act... Well, it was acting up, so we left off with uh, mentioning Kyrie Sane and Shayna Baszler. Baszler. Two out of three matches. Ultimately, Sean, uh, Shayna Baszler got her teammates from the UFC interfering in the match, and she ended up winning the whole damn thing. What was your pick on that, Mikey? And like I said before, now that Kyrie Sane lost her rematch clause, there's a there's a there's now a chance that she could go to either Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live because. Shari say could be head to the main roster if if you're asking where she's gonna go, probably SmackDown Live. Mm-hmm. Love to see love to see her versus Asuka. Cause you got two Asian females Japanese. Two Japanese female wrestlers. The undefeated Or it's a tag team. Well yeah, something like that. I love I love to see the Kyrie Asuka Perry here. What about you, Xavier? Tough loss for Kyrie Sane, but now she's gonna have to get in the back of the line, or unless she goes to Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. I would love to see her go on SmackDown against Asuka. Hell yeah! I done that War Games and God, that was an hour long match. I was paying attention to looking how much space after Tommaso Ciampa and Velveteen Dream. I'm like, why is there so much space still left? Oh, because I watched it later since it was, it was a marathon on Tsunami. Yeah. I didn't care for that. Me either. So I was like, and it was the whole War Games. It was Undisputed Era versus War Raiders, the U- UK champion, Pete Dub, you North American champion, Ricochet. Ricochet, and it was just between the match starting and... Well, not even starting. That they had to let all these guys come out one by one with the clock until all of them enter the ring to fully start the match. And they brought in weapons this time. I didn't. I, I didn't think you could bring weapons into there, but 
They did. And I was like, damn, tables, chairs, candlesticks, trash cans. Oh, they mentioned the uh, Bullet Club right now. Ah, uh, might makes me want to watch it now. But otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, that match was crazy. Crazy, I tell you. So many things were happening left and right. It was chaotic, and I loved it. <laughs> there was flips. There was tricks. There was freaking avalanche of people and ricochet jumping all onto them. There were fingers being broken. There were chains being tied onto somebody while being submitted. It was... Yeah. Ultimately, though, the Undisputed Era, if I remember correctly, lost. Right? Undisputed Era lost or won? Yeah, they lost because thanks to the team of, uh, of Ricochet, who was in a freaking submission hold, with Kylie O'Reilly. Kyle. Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly, thank you. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was Kylie O'Reilly. No, it's Kyle. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Too many O'Reilly's. Yeah. And then, uh, out of nowhere, one of the War Raiders, the biggest guy, uh, Hanson, freaking spark splashed right onto him. Ricochet, get it out of the way and then get the one, two, three. Yeah, that, yeah. Undisputed Era won last year, uh, last times, but not this times. What did your take on that, Mikey? Oh, man. Wild match. Wild match. Wild, wild, wild match. Don't worry. They can see you. These buttons may be... And these things... You can't see this, ladies and gentlemen, but these things are in his face, but you will be able to see him just fine. Yeah, like I said, wild, wild, wild game. Talked about war games, but unbelievable match. Now let's see what's going to happen this coming Wednesday night on NXT. Oh, yeah. After 205 Live. Yeah. Damn. That was good. And maybe when stuff like this happens, when they have a takeover, you have people in the audience who could be potential wrestlers to show up. One of those people, I couldn't believe that you showed up with his cute yet ugly Pomeranian Xbox was in the arena. Does that mean Xbox is going to show up at NXT? Very oh, soon? Oh, oh, no. I thought he was retired. Yeah, for a moment. I wasn't paying attention to anybody else, but otherwise, you never know. Somebody new might show up from Ring of Honor, New Japan Wrestling, NXT Impact, NXT, TNA Impact. You never know. I'm hoping to see... Uh, Storm, what's his name? Is it Lance Storm? No. What's Cowboy, Storm? James Storm. Oh, yeah, yeah. that, that Cowboy. It rolled off the tongue. Cowboy, James Storm. That's yeah, his name, Storm. James Storm. Hopefully we see James Storms again, because he was in NXT at one point. What the hell? <laughs> Reignite. <laughs> the shit's getting <schedule. laughs> <laughs> They stupid, they playing, huh? Uh, There's a bunch of fans cosplaying as Shinsuke Nakamura, nutting AJ Styles. They always. That was funny. Otherwise, uh, this is going to be interesting. What did you think, Xavier? In the war games. Just like he said, it was a wild match. And I can't wait to see more Wednesday on NXT. Yeah. That's it? That's it. Sadly, uh, boy, Farrell, do you have the WWE app? He didn't see that. I wish I could show you because that was crazy. Yeah. I wish I could show you. Maybe we'll show. Uh, maybe I'll show it to you one day. Maybe we. I don't know, but we'll see. I did that, ladies and gentlemen. I think that'll be covering it. It's a little bonus. It was supposed to mention just the Survivor Series, but I figured we mentioned Takeover while we were at it. And now I got the space, so I'm gonna confuse that together to make this one whole video. And thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, hit that notification for the next Heaven Monsters podcast this Friday, as always, and we'll see you in the next video, and I hope to see these guys at TLC. Thank you. Have a nice night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night.